One of the storytelling tips are beginning, middle, and end. Um, whenever you're interviewing somebody, you're always going to have a beginning, which is usually your focus question. Now, your focus question is the most important, because that's how it all starts. That's how the interview gets going. So you ask them their focus question, and then you get to the middle. And for the middle, you just keep asking more questions to go into depth in the story, because you really want to get out of the character the highlighted parts of the story that everyone wants to see. So just keep asking questions to get what you probably wouldn't get if you just let them tell the story. And then you're coming close to the end, which is uh, your interviewee. They start to have their final thoughts on what they're telling you. Um, and they really kind of, it depends on what your focus question is, but they really finish off the story and then usually they end off with it's because of a cause or because they love doing it or anything like that. <clears throat> okay. Oh accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. So, you really don't want to mess anything up in these interviews, as in names, social media accounts, anything. Because imagine, say, you're interviewing your subject and they see their name pop up on the screen and one of the letters is just like out of place or it's not even supposed to be there like you don't want that so you always need to make sure that you're focusing on everything that they tell you and when it comes to social media focus on all the little numbers and underscores or anything in the name because you have to include those if you want other people to be able to find that person's social media another thing for accuracy if they have a story you can't lie about something just to make your story more dramatic keep it all truthful and 100% factual. You never want to lie to your audience. There's no point in lying. If it's a bum story, then don't use it. If it's a good story, then use it. Hey guys, um, it's their story. You have your subject that you're interviewing. Um, usually they'll kind of take the lead and start answering questions that they think of. So if they are, just let them do it. You know, sometimes you get a better story. Sometimes your questions don't really meet the standards of um, giving the full effect on what your interviewee is trying to give out. Mm -hmm. You don't want to, like, barge in asking too many just questions that don't relate to the story because you really want to keep it just about them and what they have to say. Okay. So this time you'd be like, right, All right guys. <laughs> Wait, let me get all this stuff off the table. I forgot to copy my math on. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready? Go ahead. Alright guys, that's about it for today. Those are all our storytelling tips we have for you guys. And I hope you guys use these tips wisely and shoot some good interviews. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we did all again. Yeah, we better get to share the credit on this one.